This is uh, also an interesting place where elk and deer and moose live in the same area. So willows can get hit really hard um, by all the different animals eating them. So if you if you look at this, this is kind of neat. So these are pretty tall, eight, 10 foot willows, maybe higher. And over time, how they are eaten down lower and lower here, you see how they start way up high with all the leaves. The, the, the moose love the leaves, the, you know, other animals will eat them. But as they nibble on the branches, and then it prevents them from growing. And they get lower and lower. They get down to here, where you see this group of willow near the end. They're just stubs. Eventually, they will go away. You can see some evidence in this meadow of that. But this is overgrazing, overeating um, certain areas. And so you usually get that when you have a high population of elk, deer, moose in an area for a certain time. So this is a, this is a late uh, fall type wintering ground area where they'll eventually move off even lower. In the springtime though, they'll come back this way and they'll continue to eat and browse on the willows. You can see here a little pond in the background, little ice on top, um, and a pretty good sized beaver dam. Beaver did a lot of work building this. And at one point this, you know, this was a much bigger pond. 